Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech5 Production. So recently, MSI sent us a care package and inside of that care package, it contains the MSI Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4, the MSI A850 GF power supply, the MSI Mac Core Liquid K360 AIO, and most importantly, this new MSI RTX 4070 Ventus 3X. So with all of this, we decided to do a build on it with all of these components and see how the new 4070 will perform. So let's get started. Now before we get into the specs of this PC, why not we talk a little bit about the RTX 4070 as this is the first time that we get our hands on one and have a little bit more time to play on it. So the RTX 4070 is based on NVIDIA's current architecture of Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace was of course a mathematician who was believed to be actually the world's first computer programmer. The more you know. The RTX 4070 Ventus 3X over here will have 5,888 CUDA core with a turbo boost speed of up to 2,490 MHz of boost speed with MSI Center's Extreme Performance Mode, which is 10 MHz more than the Founders Edition GPU from NVIDIA. The memory of it will have 12 gig of GDDR6X with 192-bit of memory bus. Other than the specification, the biggest change that MSI has made compared to the Founders Edition card of NVIDIA would be its cooling. With it now running a triple fan configuration and running on MSI's own Torx fan 4.0. And if MSI follow its old tradition of using its dust removal technology for graphics card fans, then these fans should li likely last very long without accumulating any dust on them. Now, the best change here for this GPU compared to the Founders Edition card and all of the 40 series GPU before this card would be its power or more specifically, its power connector where it's only using one PCIe 8-pin power connector. That's right, just one. So all this is achievable thanks to the RTX 4070 only running at 200 watts and it's certainly great to see that an RTX 70 series GPU using only one 8-pin power. So certainly good decision there, MSI, for using the old connector. In terms of aesthetic, it's a classic one and a simplistic one at that, where it followed the old design language from the RTX 30 series of Ventus GPU, but they improved it a bit where they have more subtle lines around the fan area now. And it will be perfect for anyone that's looking for a more subtle looking GPU without any RGB things. Let's move on to the benchmark and performance of the RTX 4070. So here is our testing suite, which is in this test system. We'll be running an Intel Core i7 13 gen processor on it, along with all of the component that was sent together with MSI's care package. Oh, one thing to note though that we didn't run our usual Forza Horizon 5 benchmark as for some reason we weren't able to get it working on this system. But without further ado, here is the benchmarks.
So that was the result of the performance and benchmarks of the RTX 4070 Ventus 3X. Overall, it performed well, especially considering this card is only priced at 3,049 ringgit and 3,099 ringgit for the OC version of the Ventus 3X, which I guess is considered to be the mid-end range of price for GPU nowadays. But the thing that I think will help the 4070 to have the most longevity will be the capability for DLSS 3.0. If the game developer implements it in their game, you can see almost doubling of performance in your game's FPS, like from Cyberpunk 2077 that we tested. And although DLSS is in a way an upscaling technology, the image quality of the game feels almost identical in playing with it with the native graphics settings, with minimal impact to the looks of the game. The temps that we observe on this GPU is good since on max load during gaming, it only achieved a temps of around the high 60s with peak of it being only at 69 degrees. Nice. And for a bonus, as a triple fan card, it's on the shorter ends of things, so you'll be able to fit it in a lot of casing without much issues. And although pricing on it certainly isn't cheap, it certainly brings it closer to the previous generation's 70s and overall will allow for an easier entry to the RTX 40 series of GPU. We hope you enjoyed this video and find this video helpful in your next decision to get your GPU. We hope you like, share and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!